right now we are experiencing what we call a high rate environment. Now that is really relative depending on when you bought a home, uh, but it is considered high because during the pandemic, we had two years, which we call the unicorn years, where rates were in the two to 3% range. I really think that is a watershed moment. And unfortunately, we're never going back there. However, this week, um, as of this recording, interest rates for a 30-year fixed loan were between 7.75 to actually 8%. So yes, that definitely seems high, like it almost doubled in a two-year period. But with that in mind, if you're looking somebody that's looking to buy a home, the first thing you have to do is know your why, right? So know why you're doing it when it is a challenging market for buyers. So once you have established your why, it has to be greater than any of the circumstances that are in the market, which we have two of them that are giving challenges to buyers. So one is the rate environment that I just mentioned. And the second one is the inventory. So we have low inventory as America has been effectively underbuilt for the last 12 years. So sometime after the housing crash of 2008, we did not build enough single family homes for the number of household formations. So with that in mind, here are three things that you can do in a challenging market to still try and achieve your goal. The first is location. So any realtor will tell you location will dictate the price of a home. So you may have to adjust your location. Maybe it's a little further out than what you initially liked, but to start, you have to get in the game somehow, especially with people working from home now. This may not be a big a challenge as it was before because they don't, you don't have the actual commute. So yes, we want to look at location. The second thing that I want people to look at is the payment goal. Now, obviously the payment is going to be uh, manipulated or changed based on where the interest rates are, but you have to choose a payment goal that you can afford that works with your budget and then reverse engineer to find the house, not the other way around. So not find the house and now the payment is much higher than you want. So go with your payment goal and start in a range. Um, with that. So once we tell you the payment is X for this amount of dollars, so that is the houses that you should be looking at, either that or lower. The third thing I want people to consider in this type of market is asking a seller for a credit. Now, recently that wasn't popular because we were having multiple offers, but now that the rates have climbed up so high, you're having less competition for homes. Sellers want their properties to move, so they're willing to help a buyer ease into home buying. So ask for seller credits to work on buying down the interest rate versus asking for price reductions. The change in the price reduction versus the monthly payment is not worth it. You're better off asking for a seller to pay a credit to buy down your interest rate to help with the affordability factor. So if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out. It's the queen of mortgages, Marquita Woods. So I can be reached on Facebook at the queen of mortgages or find me on Instagram at Marquita Woods or my website, of course, queenofmortgages.com.